In this movie we're going to install Linux Mint on Linux Mint. We are uh, January 2015, we have Linux Mint 17.3. We have our VMware Workstation 12. And we're going to install from USB. So most of the time you will see VMware's starting from ISOs. I have already two installations now to be able to test something and we go to the home create a virtual machine typical you can't use any of these which is a physical drive or a virtual drive an iso image so we'll do all this later we say it's a linux ubuntu 64 but we'll explain to him that this i actually 17.3 cinnamon Voilà. This time I'm going to use it for the ultra flat icons, not for the Sardi icons. Store virtual disk as a single file. Yes. Finish. Close. So we have now one, two, three operating systems on one system. And we can give it a little bit more gigabytes if you like to and say you can use two gigabytes of the six save so it's going to work a little bit faster a little bit smoother but <coughs> starting off with an USB USB is a challenge and I'm plugging in my USB now you will see it pop up here is the Linux Mint 17.3 64 bits that's the insides of the USB and we're going to install it now uh, from USB there are some steps we should do we should go to edit virtual machine settings options advanced boot with EFI instead of BIOS save start the system up you will see it will not work we go to the icon of the USB it depends on what uh, icon theme you are this is ultra flat icon on the github so this is my USB I try to use right mouse click now and I connect disconnect from host then we shut down again. Voilà. We've done that. And then you should remember it's quite it's a little bit difficult. It is it's hidden here in the top. Right mouse click. And then it was power and power on to firmware. And here we can have our little boot menu arrow down arrow down if you click on it of course arrow down and here you have your USB device that is the one going to install the 17.3 so there's no need anymore to download all the ISOs I have here about 20 USBs all with different Linux operating systems on them now I can use my USBs and forget about downloading all the ISOs again If you think something is not working, just ch check out these little icons here at the bottom. If they're flashing, you should know that they're working. So, from now on, it's easy peasy. It's the normal installation of Linux Mint, which we've done over 50 times maybe already. So it's not that difficult. You follow your wizard, choose your language.
that's so great about this um, operating system. It has a great installation with it. Login automatically, continue. And here I'm going to cut the movie since it's just going to do with its thing. And you can see that on your machine as well. So bye for now.